In this video, I'm going to talk about the right way and the wrong way to write a paper in a scholarly manner. First, the wrong way. Novice scientific writers sometimes produce writing that is bloated and pretentious in a mistaken effort to sound more authoritative and scholarly. When the science is underwhelming, the author may try to invigorate the writing with multisyllabic words and complicated syntax. Consider this sentence. Closely controlled growth environments were a necessary prerequisite for confident attainment of valid empirical data regarding plant responses to salinity. You probably had to reread this sentence to get what is being said but it illustrates the type of pseudo-sophisticated writing I want you to avoid. We'll come back to it a bit later to see how it should be written. For now, I want to make the point that a lot of flowery, jargony, or overly technical language does not make you sound more scholarly. Instead, it makes your reader struggle to understand your point. Doing so will just annoy them. When writing scientific papers, your aim is to communicate, not to impress. The correct way to write a paper that is scholarly and authoritative is to write with simplicity and clarity. Simplicity means that the writing is easily understood, straightforward, and economical. Ideas are expressed concisely with minimal complexity. The point being made is crystal clear. The reader has no problem understanding what is being said. The pretentious sentence I introduced earlier is not easily understood, straightforward, economical, or clear. The writer has used a lot of technical sounding words and confusing phraseology to convey a simple idea. How can we rewrite it so that the reader can more quickly comprehend the point being made? Let's take it phrase by phrase and see if there is a simpler way to write it. Closely controlled growth environments are simply growth chambers. Necessary prerequisite is redundant since a prerequisite is something necessary. We can just say needed. Confident attainment of valid empirical data can be more simply stated as to test or to investigate. Putting it all together, we get growth chambers were needed to test plant responses to salinity. Or in a methods description, we might say plant responses to salinity were investigated in growth chambers, followed by the manufacturer name and model number. Let's consider another example of pretentious writing. Objective observations of ecological phenomena compel the conclusion that a plant species' success or failure in competitive interactions exhibits some tendency to be commensurate with its innate capacity to acquire resources, but that a considerable element of the unpredictable must invariably be taken into account. Some of you may recognize this as a riff on a sentence written by George Orwell as an example of the bureaucratic writing he hated. I just changed a few words to make it sound like it's from a scientific paper. Here's the translation. The outcome of plant competition is not always predictable. This revision is not only more understandable, it's dramatic and bald. Even experienced authors fa fall into the trap of saying something that is long-winded and unclear. Here's an example from one of my papers. Acceleration in the rate of sea level rise threatens the sustainability of coastal wetlands if it exceeds the capacity of the wetland to maintain optimum vertical position within the tidal frame. A better way to say this is, Sea level rise threatens coastal wetlands if the rate exceeds their capacity to keep pace. 
This sentence is much clearer as to what is meant and is shorter by 16 words. My point is that pretentious writing is usually difficult to read and adds to the length of your paper. If you've written something dense and jargony and just can't think of how else to say it, here's a little trick that works. Pretend you are explaining the idea to your grandmother and say it out loud, or to anyone who is not familiar with your topic. This action pulls you out of your geeky mindset and forces you to think simply about what you are trying to say you will automatically unravel the essence of what your point is and say it in a straightforward, no-nonsense fashion. You can polish it up later with some technical terms if needed. But I find that most of the time, the off-the-cuff grandmother wording works best. To summarize, pretentious writing does not make you sound more scholarly or authoritative. Truly scholarly writers rely on clear, concise wording to express their ideas. Thanks for watching and please like my video if you found it helpful.